Even the spiky fish king was no match. Donico, Jumpy, Dumpty, and please, Spikes and Splash are the best. Hmm. This game reminds Paimon of the incident happening in Cider Lake. Did Lisa base its theme on that? Uh, the kind to think of it. Why go to the trouble of finding the invading species when they could just ask Clea to blow up every suspicious fish? They could even give us some bombs and let us handle this! <laughs> well, well. From the looks on your faces, it seems like you're having fun. We loved playing Doriko's fantastic adventure. What a fun game you designed! Thanks for playing. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hmm, perhaps I should come up with some new updates? Ooh, yay! Klee wants to see Doriko going on adventures in all kinds of places! No, wait. You must have spent a long time working on the game. It must be exhausting. We shouldn't make Lisa work too hard. Aw, thank you for being so considerate. But if it helps keep you happy while you stay inside the city, I'll be more than happy to spend as much time as needed. Of course, I understand that you prefer going on your own adventures whenever you like. The game is just meant to be a new way to pass the time. Anyway, I have some great news. And I've also brought a gift for you cuties. A gift? Actually, I have a gift for Mr. Unwary Knight and Paimon, too. We'll get to the gifts in a moment. Let me tell you the news first. That's right. Two knights from the investigation team found the invasive species nest and swiftly disposed of it. The knights have also determined the cause of their invasion. The species were accidentally introduced to the lake by a merchant without any malicious intent, so the knights let her go after some lecturing and issuing a fine. <sighs> Luckily, they didn't cause too much trouble, but even Paimon thinks that merchant was way too careless! Is it time for 
gifts yet? Can Klee go first? Of course. Klee's been returning home on time every day without being reminded by anyone. So, I've been wondering what you're up to lately. <laughs> when I was home at night, I looked through Albedo's crafting book and learned to make this. Da -da -da! Whoa! It's Donaco drawing a Jeffy Dumpty! Yep, I made a figure that looks like the Donaco from Donaco's Bombastic Adventure! Even though I can't make it throw real bombs. I hope it'll remind you of the fun we had together and blast away your troubles and boredom. A big Donaco toy! Oh, Paimon loves surprises like this! With this, it'll feel like we're adventuring with Klee and Donaco wherever we go! <laughs> I'm so happy you like my gift. I worked super hard on it. What's your gift, Lisa? I want to see. Well, I'm afraid my gift is a lot less creative than yours. It's a storybook about Dodico's bombastic adventures. <gasps> An adventure story! Yay! Whoa! A whole storybook! The little cuties return to Mondstadt and join Klee on an adventure with Dodico. Together, they defeated the bad spiky fish warriors and then enjoyed an afternoon tea. A most fitting way to end Dodico's fantastic adventure. Did you plan out the whole story while designing the game? No. As the protagonists of the story, you, little cutie, and Klee all played an important part in bringing the story to life. I've left a blank spot in the book specially for illustrations. But I just thought of an even better idea. Since we're all here on this special occasion, why don't I take a photo of you together? Sure! We got to see our friends and play games together! That's definitely worth celebrating! Come on then, Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon! Ready, Lisa? Klee had so much fun today! Three, two, one, 